they advertise that you can tow it with a half ton, I'd probably do a three quarter ton. Welcome to the big show, the RV show! You know, I was actually surprised how neat that was. It's beautiful, the interior, I loved it. It's very comfortable, very affordable, and it's a thumbs up. After two years of COVID-caused uncertainties, the annual RV Super Show in Tampa roared back to life this year with bursting at the seams attendance. There were lots of RVs and lots of optimism under the crystal clear Florida blue skies. That's the uh, Unity rear twin bed and uh, I like it. What more can I say? Lots of storage inside, comfortable beds, lots of space in the kitchen. I like it. Come on in with me. Let me start by showing you the back. This is the rear twin because it has two twin beds here. And these are really nice, comfortable mattresses. See this all the way around? Storage, storage, storage everywhere. And uh, right next to the bed, you know, you've got your controls, uh, some plugs. The bathroom, porcelain toilet, lots of storage. See all the storage inside for that? There's even little cubby holes over here. And we love this part. See the pantry? Lots of storage in that pantry. And then, very comfortable chairs. You like those? Yes, I do. I'm just sitting here chilling. Yeah. So this is on the uh, Sprinter cutaway chassis. There's the front of it. There's that great dashboard. There's all of the cool stuff. We just love this uh, Sprinter dashboard. This is actually just like an iPad, you can control it all that way. Nice kitchen, big refrigerator, um, opens both ways. See that? Look at that. Microwave and the convection oven. Pass through storage, that's great. And the little table in there too, for the outdoor table. Yeah, that table, we have that on our Wonder. And, and we that love attaches it. right there and you have a have like your own picnic table. Boy, that's a lot of room under there. That is a lot of room in there. And this is the Solus 59 PX. It's 22 feet, but like a lot of the RVs that we're seeing here now, they're all coming in with a, a garage. Check out the back here of this. Right here, you've got room that you can put two bicycles. And uh, that is a huge sweet spot that uh, almost all the RV manufacturers are trying to add. They, you know, so many of us want to bring bikes. Bikes cost like, you know, uh, several thousand dollars for a, a, a medium priced one now if you're really into biking. So you want to protect them. No road uh, grit coming off the back. This is a really nice feature having the garage and they've got little lockdowns. And of course, you know how all this works. Beds come down, but you got all this room in here. And then of course up front you got a galley and uh, more seating up there. Uh, the new Solus with uh, some pretty cool features, especially that garage. I'm in the Winnebago Mini Winnie Class C and it is so cute I can't believe it. What's new is they've got a horseshoe table that can sleep a couple people. They've got theater seats. I sat in them. They're super comfortable. And nice big refrigerator freezer. I love a real oven. Nice cooktop. There's lots of storage. Cabinets all over the place. Nice ceiling fan. Let's go back here to the bedroom. Watch your step. One step. Ooh, nice big bed. Storage up above. Big bed. A ledge, which is really a good idea for, for putting this and that that you need to put there to have handy. Nice window. Enjoy the view, the beauty of where you are. Bathroom. A huge shower. Fan. Beautiful sink. Storage. Always nice to have storage for those things that need to be close by in the bathroom. And we've got our door here. Perfect. And this will sleep six people comfortably. If you want to talk about affordable, look at Thor's new scope. So that's why it can look 79 dollars Let's take a look. All right. 
Okay, this is on the Ram 1500 chassis. Here's a quick look at the floor plan. I think it's about 18 feet long. This is the refrigerator. Floor plans to choose from. Galley. Bathroom in the back. And it looks like the, uh, around to the back. looks like this uh, this makes out into a bed. And um, there's a, a table that would go right there. A lagoon table. So you got a table. And we'll go around to the back. Bathroom is in the back. And the sink, you have to pull it up to use it as a sink and open yep. it up. This is the sink. Pulls up, you can use it. Or actually, I think this is wet, the sink right here. Wet shower. This, I believe, is the sink. You're right yep, on. I'm right on. That's the sink. Uh, this one is brand new. It's called the Rise. <laughs> kind of similar. There's a shower in the back. Hello. <laughs> and, uh, Exact wardrobe. same bathroom as we saw wardrobe. on the previous. We have two burners, a Dometic, gas, propane. <laughs> Storage spaces. It's a little lagoon, lagoon table. table there for, you could eat on it or use it to, uh, to do your remote work. This one costs just a little bit more. The price is $86,995. Super show price. This is the Winnebago Vista. It's 28 feet, 5 inches long. So it's not really that bigger uh, than many Class C's out there. A couple feet. Uh, but I want to show you the, the amount of room that you have in a small Class A. This is a gas engine. It's not diesel. But uh, let's go take a look. The first thing I notice as I walk in are these very comfortable theater seats. The storage in between, a place for your cup so you don't spill it, but those seats are comfortable and they've got seat belts. Nice big table, you can drop it down to uh, make sleeping here. More seat belts, you got seat belts. Big screen TV, double sink, lots of counter space. Three burners, microwave up above, a real oven. I think I could uh, make a Thanksgiving dinner in there, Michael. Let me show you the sleeping area of the bed. We've got a king size bed. You can get out on both sides. We've got a nice window there so you can look, scenic area. You can sleep with the shade up and enjoy the view. A big shower, sink, storage, the toilet. Oh, and there's even a heat duct in the bathroom. That's a good thing to have. You don't uh, realize how much you need that until you don't have it. You can actually pull this baby out. We have a nice stand-up desk, work table. We all sit way too much. This is so nice. And then when you get done, just put it right down and you're set to go there. This is the Winnebago view. And by the way, do you know that Winnebago was the first of the manufacturers to build an RV on the Sprinter chassis? Um, you may also have heard about the Winnebago Navion. What's the difference between the Navion and the view? The name. That's, that's, that's really all it was. The Navion used to be the brand that uh, a company called Itasca that Winnebago used to own. Uh, they now no longer market under that brand, but they kept the name Navion and view. They're basically the, the same RV. Different floor plans. They have different floor plans you can choose. Uh, I want to just show you, though, um, how slick the inside of this Class C is. Come on in. I think you're going to like this one. It sleeps six. We've got seat belts. We've got the U-shaped uh, kitchen table, slide, lots of storage up above, and here comes the queen-size Murphy bed. No way. You have room to get out of bed on both sides, and there's your bed. More storage. Let's open this up. Storage. Wow. And they close. And easily. they're lighted. Look at that. They're lighted. Oh, yeah, the light's in there. This will make down into a bed. It's down into a bed. So when you sleep two in the Murphy, you can sleep two here. And, and then you can sleep, well, at least one. Oh, you can sleep two up there. You could yeah. sleep two. And this, of course, is on the Sprinter chassis with that awesome Sprinter, Sprinter uh, control center out here. Well, remember we said that the uh, <laughs> that 200,000 mark is the sweet spot? This is a little under 200,000.
We've always liked the Tiffin brand RV, and we're in their Class C 2022 Wayfarer. And there's a lot to like in this. Lots of storage. I like the handles. The hardware is nice. We have a queen size Murphy bed. In the back is the bathroom, and you'll notice that window. When you're driving, you're going to be able to look out. <laughs> no way. That you're, not window. you're not gonna be able to look out I'm from that. I'm gonna bet you 50 bucks. I came in the driver's seat to see if the, you can see out the rear view mirror into that rear window. Well, you can't. Now, maybe you could, but there is no rear view mirror. So you, you sure can't see. You it's not hiding? It's not there. There's no rear view mirror. Mm. There's a place to hold your glasses, but no rear view mirror. So you really can't see. And even if you could, it would be just this little thing. So I won that bet. You won. Did you all hear that? I won? <laughs> wow. You were right. How about that? I was right. <laughs> I've never heard my wife say that. So look at all the stories in here. These all pull out <laughs> so you can get at everything in there. Aren't those nice? It really is. All right. <laughs> Inside. Wow. So this is the 40 foot long one. There we go. This is uh, where you're going to serve the fajitas, Jennifer. <laughs> fajitas, okay, here? Yeah. So this is a slide out here. This partially fills up, but then you just would pull that out and it would lay flat. But you could also leave it like so to kind of like, like lounge and watch television right there. Here's the bathroom. Oh my gosh, is this roomy. <laughs> There's the shower. Double sinks. Double sinks, very nice. Whirlpool, stacked washer and dryer. That's well, not, that is a closet. <laughs> I'll sit, look at that. Yeah, you got room. Lots of huge. I'll have to go buy storage. some more clothes. You see uh, what they've done with the bed here? It's uh, on the slide. Well, it's on the slide, but it, it's also set up so you can use it as like a lounge. You can do this and just watch TV. Ah, a lounge. You are lounging. Can you do the rest of the shooting today? And I'm just going to hang here and notice that there's a ceiling fan, fan. A ceiling fan. Very good idea. And for those of you who like to watch TV in bed, Ta -da. that's a big TV. I asked uh, the Winnebago rep what it sells for. And he says he can't tell me that you got to go talk to a salesman. So if they're not posting it and uh, they won't tell you, it's out of our price range. <laughs> Let's talk truck campers. Northern Light. This is uh, about as uh, uh, four season as you can get in a truck camper. If you want to get out there in really cold weather and have your plumbing work and everything, that's why you want to look at this one. Plus, it's got some pretty high-end features inside. Let's take a look. Nice shower. Right off the bat, look at how nice the shower is in a truck camper. Lots of storage, plenty of storage. That's a great size queen. You know, again, it's a truck camper. So if you're sleeping there, but it looks like a very comfortable bed, thick, thick uh, mattress. There is a dinette, permanent dinette in this thing. Very nice very nice price on this uh, truck camper is uh seventy six thousand one hundred dollars and uh, you need a uh, one ton truck and a eight foot uh, bed on that truck to uh, to haul it around they've got a runner in here all you do is get some carpet and you put an edge on it and it matches the carpet that they have like under the kitchen table but you could replace this carpet easily and it's nice and warm under your feet. I think this is a great idea for keep your feet warm, keep everything clean. Good idea. And there are some small truck campers. And they're really, they're really quite complete. But they're also quite expensive. When it comes to truck camping, it's pretty hard to beat Lance, and they have a couple at the show, so let's take a look at them. All right, 
uh, crawl up. There's your bed, table. Looks like you can lower that and uh, make a bed there. Refrigerator, heater. Got a real oven. Microwave. Got some burners. Got a big sink. Lots of uh, countertop. Standalone shower. Oh, no, it's not standalone. Wet shower. Here's a bigger model. This has got a, uh, a dinette. Yeah, wow, this kitchen is the size of some of the Class B and C RVs that we have seen. Very nice kitchen. Lots of storage. There's your TV. There's the bathroom and the shower. Look at that. Dry shower. Sleep up there. Boy, that looks very comfortable up there, doesn't it? I can see me working here, looking out at some mountains. I like this one, it's very attractive. I like the layout of it. I mean, that kitchen is as big as some of the uh, Class B and C motorhomes we've seen. Yeah, I like the kitchen, looks comfortable, the seating that you have. Is it really four seasons? It, it is four seasons. They actually took them up to Alaska and tested them. Um, they actually have an enclosed underbelly with heat ducts ran to the underbelly. So it's not going to freeze or anything. Doors Delano is another Class C that is uh, getting a lot of attention at the show. It's a pretty popular Class C. Uh, hard to get. They've been very hard to get. Uh, but um, they're here. This one is about 25 feet long. Leaping up above a uh, kind of a, a sleeper uh, for two. This is the diesel unit. A dedicated uh, uh, kitchen dinette that will, I think, also double as a uh, as a bed that comes out in the slide out. Very small kitchen area though, not a lot of space. But this is the kitchen, the galley of the Delano. Uh, nice size refrigerator, the obligatory uh, microwave convection oven, shower on a track. And the bathroom, well, we'll catch the bathroom on the way back. Here's the bed. I don't know whether that's a queen or a king. Not bad. Door closes like this so you can get some privacy when you're in the shower, which is right across the hallway from it. That's a good touch. I guess the first thing I notice is uh, this is a really very small galley very small galley and only a thousand watt inverter on this as well the Lano is on the Sprinter chassis and they've got a uh, show special of about 139,000 they say the normal MSRP is right up around that 200,000 at 194 so this is the Delano this is another floor plan of the Regency Ultra Brougham and this one catches my eye two Comfortable chairs. And those are lagoon tables. The lagoon tables. Workstations. Workstations. Dinner. Push them out of the way. Easy. I would leave these up all the time. I like those. And you know, they're smart. Look at how they put those on the side so that you can leave them up all the time and still go back and forth from the cab. Mm -hmm. I like the island bed. There's a little bit of a step there. You have to go up the step to get to the bed. Hey, look. Big mirror. A big mirror. But I like the storage, his and her storage. I like the nightstands on both sides. Full, full nightstands too, by the way. Look right. at the size of those. Right. Oh, uh, Just in the sunlight sun. shade and then a blackout shade. Arizona. And then at night, the blackout shade. Keep all those lights out. I have come to the conclusion that there is something for everyone. <laughs> what do you think this unit costs? A little over two hundred thousand. Suggested retail, two hundred and seven thousand dollars. It seems like everything I look at is just over two hundred thousand in a motor coach. It's not me. The prices are definitely higher than they've ever been before. Well, let's hope they put them higher so they can mark them down. So you feel like you get the deal. Maybe. The moon hits your eye like a big pizza pie. That's, That's amore. amore. Do that, do that again. How big is this? It looks pretty compact. It, it, it is extremely compact. So just to give you a comparison, this is only 10 inches longer than a Honda Odyssey minivan or 
It is 17 feet 9 inches long and a standard parking space in the U.S. is 19 feet. So it is uh, only 15 inches shorter or 15 inches shorter than a standard parking space. So you can navigate through traffic, park easily, or as I like to say, fit in your driveway beautifully. What Wingham does is they take a chassis and then they take this custom fiberglass shell and they attach the shell to the chassis. And that opens up to an, a, a tremendous amount of innovation. And for starters, it's by putting the bed in the ceiling. So by having the bed in the ceiling and not on the floor, it opens up all your floor plan space to have a much larger kitchen, a much larger ba bathroom, and a dining room that seats six. Should we take a look? Let's take a look. All right, let's take a look. This has this very elegant and sophisticated formal front entry door that opens and you walk right in. Wow. <laughs> How big is this again? This is 15 feet? This is, this is 17 feet 9 inches long. So it is the smallest Class B motor home in the world to have a full bathroom. Let's see this bathroom. You have a full vanity and sink, medicine cabinet and a standing shower. Inside this micro RV is a dining room that comfortably seats six people. Two up front. So you have two here, four there. You want know, to see something that's really cool is take the table, turn around, and I've get got your laptop office. up, and the TV that goes right there, watch TV, work from your laptop. Wow. Smart. And this comes back around. And so I will show you the second bed. There's a cushion that goes on top of this, and then these cushions all come off. And this comfortably sleeps two children or one of them. Are you ready for ceiling. Are you ready for this bed? The drop down, the Wingham famous drop down bed. Oh, okay. voila! Look at that. And then you have a little step ladder. Two people sleep two here. Two adults. Two can sleep there. Yep. Wow. How easy is it to put back up? Let's take a look. How'd that look for easy? Oh my goodness. And look at all the stories. Yep. Love the catches. Very nice hardware. Why can't we do this in America? We're look here now. We're in America. Look at this. Uh, well, that's my big question to you. Uh, <laughs> yes. How do you get one of these and what do they sell for? So we are formally taking reservations right now. Uh, delivery of the Wingham OAC 540s are going to begin in the summer of 2022. So this year? This year? Six months. From Six now. months from now they begin. Is it equipped with any solar or can it be equipped with solar? And it, solar comes standard. A 210 watt solar panel on the roof is uh, standard. Uh, well, this is awesome. So to, uh, to get more information, the website? www.wingham.com. All right. This thing is really cool. I love the hardware, the cabinets, the material that they're made out of. It is cool. Yeah, they do make uh, RVs a lot different in Europe and there's a lot to like about them. They say still this thing will be available come uh, fall in the US. It's gonna be interesting to see. This is Jayco's 29 foot Class A, the Alante. Uh, it's pretty reasonably priced. It's uh, under, well under $150,000, lots of room. Uh, there's a dinette uh, on a slide. Uh, a sofa, a luxury sofa that makes uh, into a bed uh, with two seat belts uh, in it. Uh, there's the kitchen area, nice backsplash, uh, full oven, uh, storage above. Here are two kid bunks, very short bunks, but perfect for for kids. <laughs> Reminds me of a Pullman train. See that? Yeah, the kids can sit up there in these little little. Uh, little mattresses there's two of them they've got their own tv and then this is the bedroom it looks like a uh, regular size bed i don't think that's quite queen maybe maybe it's a queen uh, but lots of room and this is the jayco alente the jayco alente uh, a small class a it's not just the uh, motor homes that the prices have gone up this 28 foot Airstream is 168,000. Interior decorated by a pottery barn. Now that's a section for us because we don't need the honey.
So where's all of the hanging green plants and catchy stuff? Well, we don't need that. There's lots of nice neutral colors, the fabric on the sofa, and the table and everything. Okay, where's the pottery? Nice airstream, and all airstreams are nice. The lights are all flickering back here. Clean, neat, but this is still expensive because you still need a tow car. There are a lot of Airstreams here, and only two are under $100,000. This is the 20-foot Bambi, 66000 This is the 23-foot Flying Cloud, $95,700. Just a little bit under $100,000. But everything else is well, well over $100,000 just for the Airstream trailer. the inside it's all bed but they got entertainment a TV an air conditioner they say you can tow this with a trike holy mackerel look at the, the price basically 15 grand for this little thing says they're raising the standard, factory direct. Ducted air conditioning and I wanted something about 100 inches wide and I didn't want it to be over 10 feet tall. And one of the guys said he wanted wood cabinets. He, he liked that better than the vinyl covered styles. What you said, Earl, is the room in this thing, the space. It feels a, space a lot bigger than open. it is. It's 28 feet and five inches bumper to bumper but it feels much bigger than that. We're six foot three interior height here in the center, and we don't have the air conditioner hanging down because it's ducted, it's up high on the roof. What about the heat? The heat's it's ducted ducted through the flooring floor. area yeah. through, through here. Oh yeah, there's one right. So this opens up like this. And if you want it to be closer to the seat, you release that and it can get closer. And then you can use this as just a recliner. Put your feet up, and if you want it for a bed, you put it all the way down for a bed. And both sides do this. And there's a filler piece to go in the middle here, so it's all, all filled up. And this is memory foam. It's nice and comfortable. I, I love the name. This would be good even for like four guys going to Lake Erie or Lake Michigan fishing or an ocean fishing or whatever. Two could sleep here and then you got the twin beds for, for two back there. That's okay. I mean, look at this. What a nice little touch. Yeah, you too. And a real shower head. I mean, a nice shower head. Wow, that's nice. A privacy door. I like that. Wow, this is really great. Two beds, two single beds, that's very nice. It's a Ford E450, that's an Econoline chassis. This is the new engine, it's the 5 point, or 7.3 liter. I've heard people calling it the Godzilla engine. Uh, it's uh, 340 horsepower. This is technically a C, but it's, yeah, uh, it's the, the B plus, only, they call it. Right, we call it a B plus. The only difference between this and a C is we don't have the cab over the big cab over right so right. we're more streamlined more aerodynamic we designed the front cap even so that it would kind of match the lines on the hood now um, you guys are factory direct we're factory we have direct. no dealers no dealers we build them in the RV capital of the world Elkhart that's right and we have two twin beds they're 34 inches wide one of the beds is 72 inches long, the other one 74 inches long. And how many seat belts? There are four seat belts, so you have a seat belt for everybody that sleeps. That is awesome. And an automatic awning? Or automatic we... awning, it works on the remote control, or you have an outside button there you can push, or you can go inside 
and bring the awning out. And as you see, we have the LED lights in the awning, and we also have speakers here for Bluetooth. We love entrepreneurs, and especially entrepreneurs who believe in quality. With everything open again, Road Trek is back, and they're even introducing a new model. Canada Mike Williams with Road Track. How are you, man? Hey, good to see you both. Uh, good to be back in Tampa for 2022. It's nice. Weather's beautiful. A lot better than Alberta. That being said, this is our new Play SRT that we've introduced at the 2022 show. And uh, we're really excited about it. And uh, have a look and give me your thoughts as well. The manufacturing suggested retail price is $115. Uh, they do have some specials here, of course, at the show. I leave that to the dealer, but that's the MSRP on it, 115. Road Trek is an affordable RV motorhome. Absolutely, yes. that's that's yeah. why we came out with the Play lineup. You might be wondering what Play SRT stands for. It stands for short Road Trek because it's on the 19-foot uh, Dodge Ram chassis, a very maneuverable small chassis, and yet. Lots of room in here. This is the rear sofa, and may I say that it is comfortable. It's nice and cushiony. It makes into a near king size bed. So, lots of room back here. Windows, very nice. Look around. This is a wardrobe, so a good space to uh, hang your clothes. We've got a good size refrigerator. More storage under here. This is a lot of storage for such a small vehicle. Uh, a drawer. Put your divider in there for your utensils. We've got our sink, more, lots of storage for such a small unit. And this looks like it's propane, two burner propane. And everything you need. You've got your sink, you've got your shower, and your toilet. The passenger chair swivels around so you've got extra seating when you need it. This for $115,000 is very comfortable, very affordable, and it's a thumbs up. We are um, gonna look at fifth wheels, and we don't know a lot about fifth wheels, really. We don't, we've never owned one, but there are a lot of people out there that do own them. Yeah, a lot of you said, go check out uh, what, what's in a fifth wheel. So, well, we're, we're gonna do that. We're gonna show you the fifth wheel that was chosen. RV of the year, how's that? Let's go to the best. Can't get much better than that. Check this out, this is the Keystone Arcadia. Now, I tell you, I've never had a fifth wheel, uh, but this one, this one has me thinking. Look at how deep that is. I mean, I could take my e-bikes, I could take all of our fancy chairs. Uh, I mean, I can't imagine how it would ever possibly, uh, how it would ever possibly be filled up. You can get up to 600 watts of solar, and of course, uh, Keystone has this uh, this great deal with uh, Dragonfly batteries. Dragonfly is the uh, is the parent company of uh, Battleborn batteries. The weight about 9,000 pounds. They advertise that you can tow it with a half ton. I'd probably do a three quarter ton. Let's go inside because uh, <laughs> you got to see how nice this thing is inside. All right, walking in. Wow, look at this. Look at the decor of this thing. Uh, I like this. Uh, I like this. Uh, this dinette. Very comfy. Look at how much room it is. You've got this really comfy sectional, big TV. Awesome cupboard. Really cupboard. Look at the uh, oven, refrigerator. Look at that. How nice that looks. It's all hidden into the wall. Part of the decor. Up the three obligatory three steps to the bedroom and uh, queen size bed. Look at the storage. Lots of storage all around. And into the bath. Awesome shower. Awesome shower. The medic porcelain toilet. Sink. Nice medicine cabinet. All in that great decor. And there's your control center right here for all of your various functions that you need to turn switches on. Very nice. Love this floor. Love the floor. All right, let's go outside. Okay, so I went back and got Jennifer and I brought her back to this Arcadia. Uh, I, wanna, I wanna see her reaction to it. Come on in. Come on in. All right, here I am. Oh, this is cute. 
How do you keep those wooden chairs from bouncing around? You know, I don't know. I don't know. I've never had one of these before. How do yeah, you keep I them? I don't know. How, I like the little L sofa back there. A uh, sectional nice. sofa. Have you ever seen that? No, I've never seen a sectional sofa. Because that's how you sit. I yeah. sit like that. Oh, yeah. Well, this is, this is good. It really does have the feel of a home. Even the window treatment. Yeah. Dropping the drape. Big windows to open. A nice bedroom. See why everybody's driving around in fifth wheels. This is a home on wheels. What kind of mileage does it get? <laughs> well, it doesn't get any. It's whatever you're <laughs> towing it with. It's going to be right. You know, I've got to get out and push every now and then. But look at, you know, you got a little, it's just everything. Donut everything's just stand. all the touches. It the really, decor. it is decorated very nicely. And a real door. Well, this is uh, decorated very, very nicely. Now I see why so many people have fifth wheels. It's big. But boy, is it nice, just like home. So, I think we now understand why so many people like fifth wheels, huh? I do. Yeah. Very nice. Uh, so, the Arcadia, uh, this is, there's several different models. This one is, as we said, 32 and a half feet long. Goes up to 40 feet. Um, just uh, getting a lot of buzz out there. A lot of folks really like it. Uh, from Keystone, we were impressed. I'll say that we were impressed. So we got to stand in line to go look at this. I'm really impressed by how beautiful this is. The decor of it, this is very, very attractive. Queen size bed, the color of the cabinetry, everything. I, I like it. Upscale, very nice. I can, I can take this mic. Storage, wardrobe, both sides, very nice. Well, here's the bathroom. Again, the decor is... Uh... You know, this big yeah. rugged vehicle and you've got this awesome decor. Look at that, real windows, by the way. Yeah. Yeah. And a cassette toilet. A very large shower, you know, the skylight. Two okay. electric sofas that makes into a sleeping area. Okay. So does this electric sofa connect to this one? So it Correct. makes one? Yes. Wow. This seals completely off. It does. Yeah. yeah the casement. Your, your, your screen. Dual pane. Blackout shades and insect screens. Yes. These are just really Very nice. nice. The one thing I'm surprised is it's a cassette toilet. It's actually not. Oh, uh, that's what they're all a, saying in line. So, so a cassette toilet is what's standard, but this is our show truck, so it's upgraded with a Thetford Tecma silencer macerator toilet with a black tank. And how much is the black tank for on this? I think 40 gallons. 40 that's gallons. Big. So you really can stay out there yeah, for it. Nine miles a gallon diesel. Hey, could be a lot worse. And a lot of Class A's are, are that or less, so it's cool. Hey, we're Mike and Jen. Hope you liked the video. Give it a thumbs up, please. Happy trails.